Hi there, Pete. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very good, thank you. Good, good, good. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite quite amazing how so when you ask that question to people, how are you? A lot of people say, oh, I'm okay. Not bad. Yeah, I know, yeah. But it's not really positive, is it? Not bad. I'm okay. And, and so I'm really good. It's I'm not just really the, good. Feel really good. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not all about um, being positive or whatever. But it's also, it's very limiting as to how people actually are. I'm okay. What does that mean? I'm okay. It doesn't mean much, does it? Well, my heart is beating. I you're alive. Feel, I can yeah, see you're yeah, alive. Yeah. But there again, when you think about it, really, you don't really need to ask people how they are because you can see with your own eyes. I'm sure if they look happy, they're happy. Absolutely. If they look unhappy. They're unhappy. Absolutely. Walk into a shop and you see a happy bloke behind the counter. Why do you need to say, oh, hi, how are you? Because you can see he's oh, happy. Right. Yeah. It's like when Absolutely. people say... Or if somebody's miserable, crying. Yeah. It's like when you some... Know, oh, hi, you all right? Oh, it's like when some... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a great one, isn't it? When you see somebody who's who's you, who's who's showing observable behaviour that indicates that they're in distress, and you go, are you all right there? <laughs> Oh, you can clearly you see they're not. You can clearly not. see they're not. Yeah, it's absolutely stupid, isn't it? How uh, how us humans can Commun- uh, communicate yeah. communicate with one another. It's absolutely well, the crazy. poor the poor way in which we communicate. Yeah, the poor way in which we communicate. Yeah, well, there's no there's no there's no love there, is there, between human beings? There's kind of no. A lot of a lot of people aren't trained into communicating with one another. Absolutely. I I never went to school and actually learned or learnt how to communicate with other people. Well, I don't when I, even when I've been at work, I've never I've never been taught um, whilst at any workplace how to communicate properly with other work colleagues. That's because everyone just takes it for granted. Absolutely. And yet, if everyone communicated properly, yeah, the world would be a better place, a slightly better place. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It just goes to show that a lot of education is uh, yeah. meaningless. Yeah. It's, it's very similar to people when people say, "Oh, my my glass is half full," sort of, which gives gives the impression that I'm I'm more positive than someone whose glass is half empty. But when you yeah, actually yeah. when you actually think about it, someone's glass should be full. Absolutely, not no, half measures. No, yeah, absolutely, no point doing anything in half measures. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, so that's that's a bit of nonsense. <clears throat> yeah, that's a bit of food for so, thought for, so for the listeners. What what nonsense are we going to cover? Well, today the nonsense today we're going to cover is uh, to do with the Dunning Kruger effect. Now, I've I've spoken to or I've exchanged messages with a number of people on YouTube, being low globe globe earthers and uh, all these moon landing kind of people and all these people. propagandists. You know, all these all these people who's got their heads stuck well I think they've got them stuck somewhere that the sun certainly doesn't shine but um, they often counter me they often cite the dunning Kruger effect so I thought I'd I've, I thought I'd uh, cover this topic so that if anyone listening or watching the video they can uh, watch it and then if they could themselves come across somebody and who mentions the dunning Kruger they can come up with a nice nice retort for them counter argument oh there we go send them send them packing sounds very interesting and useful and absolutely useful. yeah it's great to uh it's great to pull apart uh nonsense absolutely that's what lots of people do i know i've noticed lots of people actually on youtube all, and all they do is they just pull apart shred nonsense yeah because i just can't believe how much there is of it there's there's lots of it isn't there yeah it's phenomenal Tons. it's it's just crazy how much nonsense there is in the world isn't it in yeah. man's world you would have thought, you know, uh, being human beings, okay, just like an animal, just like a, a gorilla or a cat or anything, human beings create just so much confusion, chaos, nonsense in in their in their world. Well, or there, in their, there's, a, there's a reason know. for that. Oh, I know there's a reason for that, but you, it's just strange how why it's all there. But anyway. We well, we both know why it's all there, but you know that's that's irrespective. Anyway, back to the Dunning Kruger. Now I've got the page up on Wikipedia, and I'm just going to do that so that I can uh, makes it easier for me to sync the uh, audio with the video. Ha ha ha! Not silly, you know. Anyway, right. So the Dunning Kruger effect. Here we go. Now the Dunning Kruger effect. Do you want to highlight it so people can see? Oh, well, thank you for now. Yeah. yeah. Now the Dunning Kruger effect. There we go. 
The Dunning-Kruger effect is a cognitive bias in which relatively unskilled persons, such as myself, according to some people, mm. um, suffer, illu- yeah, suffer illusory superiority, mistakenly assessing their ability to be much higher than it really is. So essentially... But that's... Uh, but- Oh, because they they talk of illusory superiority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So essentially, what that's saying is that um, is that people who are unskilled. Yeah. Now, you, let's say you've got these glow glow people who are in well into their science nonsense. Okay, and they're talking to someone who's not really scientifically minded. They're maybe just filled with common sense. Yeah. And so these people. Will look up, will talk to these commonsensical kind of people, and because they're not getting the gist of it or understanding it, and they're coming out with their own views, the scientific people, the mm. glow people, the moon landing people, and such like, will th- will th- tend to assume that the pe- that the commonsensical person is coming out with this cognitive bias or suffering with this illusory superiority. In other words, they don't know because they can't understand common sense the the science behind it yeah just because they don't understand the science behind it or they're not they're not stupid. they're not they're not agreeing with their point of view it basically they're suffering with some kind of illusory superiority and uh, <clears throat> between you and me i mean i tend to think that common sense is a lot better than uh, science any any kind of science um um Finding, finding position or whatever, you know, if you, you know, common sense is the best method as opposed to scientific stuff. Mm. But anyway, so that's what it is, essentially is. Um, So let's just go on. Uh, Yeah, Dunning and Kruger attributed this bias to a metacognitive inability of the unskilled to recognise their own ineptitude and evaluate their own ability accurately. So basically, what what they're saying, what people, what globalists and moon landing kind of people think, say, would think about me, is that I don't evaluate my own my own um, judgments, my own uh, views and opinions, and the way that I formulate ideas. I don't although do you that can, in a very good way. Although you can see an air bubble <laughs> from an astronaut's helmet. On yeah, a video. You I can see that, I can, and I can see, I and I can see mm. observe a flat horizon. And the clouds going over in a very straight, uniform motion when the wind's blowing. And yet they can't. Mm. And yeah, it they d- can't. It doesn't make Any- sense. Really. Yeah, anyway, yeah. And they're basically saying that I'm not human. I must be some kind of. Uh, um, some, I must be fish. some. I could be a fish, yeah. Or yeah. I could be. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Could, oh, I you could might... actually be a monkey, couldn't I? Oh, you could too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Or you could be. Anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Now, so after these people have mentioned the Dunning-Kruger effect to me, I thought I'd do a little bit of research because you don't need to do much. I don't want to be spending hours and hours and hours on this thing. And so I obviously read this page. And if you look at the, the section where it says original study, it reads the phenomenon. See, they're calling it a phenomenon. Okay. was first tested in a series of experiments during 1999 by Dunning and Kruger of the Department of Psychology at Cornell University. Oh, that university it, that, does, that, can't, can't, that, that, that doesn't understand measurement, measurement and calculation. calculation. Yeah, seems a very good university, doesn't it? Anyway, the study was inspired by the case of MacArthur Wheeler, of all people, a man who robbed two banks after covering his face with lemon juice. Uh, in the mistaken belief that because lemon juice is unusable, unu- as invisible ink, it would prevent his face from being recorded on surveillance cameras. So now, <clears throat> well, there's a couple of things there because if well, I there's was one a few things there, isn't yeah, there? I mean, if I was a, a robber and I uh, thought that lemon juice could hide my face from uh, surveillance cameras, yeah, I'd try it first before robbing a bank. Ah, now. Now, what should we do? Should we go and have a, an in-depth look for MacArthur Wheeler, or should we just talk about this page for a bit longer? Well, talk about this page for a bit longer. Right. Then. Okay, okay. Uh, the, the, blah, 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 blah. I don't think we need to do all that lot because that's not important. But what is important uh, for this is the supporting studies section. Okay. Um, Dunning and Kruger set out to test 
some hypotheses, obviously, that they formulated, um, on Cornell undergraduates in oh. psychology courses. Oh, so they must be quite clever people. Um, undergraduates, well, undergraduates. some you get obviously some are, some aren't. You know, you know, oh, obviously, yeah. you know. And and what they did essentially in a series of studies, they examined subject self-assessment of logical reasoning skills, grammatical skills, and humour. Um, after being shown their test scores, the subjects were asked to estimate their own rank. Mm. The competent group estimated their rank accurately, while the incompetent group, excuse me, overestimated theirs. There you go. So what, essentially what happened was was that they had two groups, what competent and incompetent group. Mm. So the science people, the globalists, would be in the competent group and all of these flat earthers and people just with common sense would be in the incompetent group, if you know what I mean, if I can relate that with this mm. study. And they basically gave them some self-assessment, some yeah. questionnaires and some self-assessment um, sheets. Mm. They filled them in. Um, they they were then marked and then they were told their score and they were then asked to estimate their own rank what which rank how rank where in the ranking position would you be do you mm. think you are and they found that the unskilled um the incompetent group were would will be quite high even though they yeah. had low uh, uh evaluations yeah okay so that, that's essentially the, the study, or one of them in a series of studies. So that's one of. So there we go. Oh, so it, Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds really good. And we can think, well, the Dunning-Kruger well, really, effect. Because, not really, because you can, interpret that, you can interpret the findings of that. Well, let's, let's, let's go. studies in a different sure, way. Sure, of course. Let's go, let's go back to MacArthur Wheeler. Okay. And through my experience talking to uh, lots of globe people, about this kind of stuff, I often uh, I often say to them, "There you go. Look, we've got MacArthur Wheeler up there." I often ask them, I what McDonald's is doing. "Yeah, we, now let's let's read this story, okay, in here about MacArthur Wheeler." Here we go. Look, we've got a picture of uh, what it looks like a uh, stereotypical bank robber or a yeah. thief with some. Uh, I forgot what is it? Wag is it on Could the be, in, yeah. on the sack? Shame it wasn't coal be quite yeah. good anyway uh now the stu- well, let's read this uh by anna anna pum pant hmm. it's got a lovely surname yeah wonder what anna pum knickers yeah or do you know it could be pant as in <laughs> oh it could be yeah. yeah it could be pant um on uh on one fine morning here we go on one fine morning in pittsburgh in the year 1995 a man aged 44 known by the name of macarthur wheeler decided to rob a bank since he thought he knew a lot about a peculiar chemical property of lemon juice, he decided to smear the juice on his face before executing his plan to rob the bank. Mm. Here you go. His logic, as lemon juice can be used to write invisible letters that become visible only when the letter is held close to a heat source, he thought the same would work on his face too. Right, unsure mm. about that. By smearing lemon juice all over his face, he thought that his face would become invisible to the security cameras at the bank. He did not just think that. He was pretty confident about this. He even checked. Oh, it's quite there. Here, here we go. Here we, he even checked his trick by taking a selfie with a Polaroid camera. I'm not sure if the film was defective or the camera wasn't operated properly, but the camera did give him a blank image. Oh, so I can't. I, 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 I just can't understand. I how can't. I can't understand that photo. If, well, to be honest with you, he he even it says here he even checked his trick by taking a selfie with a Polaroid camera, and then the right the author is saying I'm not sure if the film was defective or the camera wasn't operated properly, but the camera did give him a blank image. Where's a picture of the image? Absolutely, yeah. You'd think that there'd be an image there, yeah. wouldn't you? But obviously, maybe he didn't take a picture of himself. Who knows? Let's carry on. Um, the blank. <laughs> Uh, but the camera did yeah the blank image made him absolutely sure that his trick that this trick would work or he would not have d- ever dared to rob a bank with lemon juice on his face that's if he ever did rob a bank with lemon juice ah very face. good now now we have the dunning i don't think we need to do it just goes that that's <coughs> just uh, talks more about the uh yeah it talks more about the, is the robbery and then we have the dunning kruger effect dum 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 
the stunning Kruger effect is lovely. Yeah. Now, I would like you to play a little game. So we know we know a little bit about this story. It's, it's well, it's, it's, it's it seems quite a, a prominent. It would be quite a prominent story because if it is true, you'd actually think, well, it's amazing what people do. Absolutely. Now, okay. Well, let's try. To, I want but you. According to the story, he did test it with his Polaroid camera. He did test it with his Polaroid camera. And it camera. came up as a blank image. So in, when you think about it, it's, he had every right to. He had, yeah, it doesn't, yeah, to me, if it did work, if if I held a Polaroid camera, if I covered <clears> myself <throat> with lemon, lemon juice and I took a, a shot of myself with a camera and it came out and I thought, oh, I can't see myself. Yeah, you'd, you'd actually think, well, it's, it's bound to work. It's bound to work in a bank with CCTV. CV, yeah. Absolutely. Or you could try it with a video camera. Yeah, it's, they had video it's, cameras. Well, to be days. honest with you, it's a shame that there's no video footage of somebody who's with done lemon it. Juice, yeah, with absolutely. lemon juice, yeah, with lemon juice actually doing that. It, yeah. Anyway, so so let's play a little game because this is what I say to lots of these glow glow people or who anyone who cites the Dunning Kruger effect. I always say, well, let's play a little game, hmm. and we're going to play a little game. And do you know what it's called? No, I don't know. It's called. Um, Spot MacArthur Wheeler. Spot MacArthur Wheeler. That's the one. Oh, so yeah, I've typed in MacArthur Wheeler. Oh, it's that. But it's that. Uh, it's that robber again. Look, he's yeah, up yeah. there. Do you think he's MacArthur Wheeler? Uh, let's have a little look down. Do you think he's MacArthur Wheeler? No, this guy here. No. Uh, how about this guy with the baseball cap? No. Um, this guy who's got like uh, stuff all over his face. Or oh, click on it, and then you'll find out. Uh, Robbers wearing. Market disguises. No, it's like camouflage, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like, that's all that is. Uh, So it's not him. Do you reckon this is MacArthur Wheeler? Here. That's what he's, this person's wearing a mask. Looks more like a woman, actually, doesn't it? No, it wasn't, not him. He's not MacArthur Wheeler. Now, which one of these two do you think is MacArthur Wheeler? No, what about the guy in the corner there? This guy here. Photo fit, yeah. Uh, Fred Fred William William Bowman. No, that's that's not MacArthur MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. I don't know. What else? Oh, here we go. Do you think he's MacArthur Wheeler? Oh, he could be, yeah, with uh, lemon juice over his face. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Look, oh, MacArthur Wheeler. Oh, they, it is MacArthur Wheeler. Oh, We've right. actually MacArthur found Wheeler MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. That rubbing lemon juice on his face would make him invisible. invisible. Yeah. So they've actually got a photo of, of MacArthur, MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. Well, do you know that something? Just I've amazing. actually found a photo of MacArthur, MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. Oh. I just can't believe it. Wow, reminds me of uh, the uh, the Invisible Man. Yeah, I'm t- uh, yeah. We'll just we'll just go. Let's just go through. Now, there's some, obviously, that there's some lemon. You know, mm. everybody knows what lemons are. Um, now this. De- oh, now this doesn't definitely no, doesn't that's look like MacArthur. No, no. I'm, I'm sure she looks a lot nicer than MacArthur Wheeler. That's for sure. Yes. Anyway, um, who else we got? We've got. Uh, no, they're too young to be. MacArthur yeah, Wheeler. this. Yeah, this person's too young. Yeah, he's yeah, he's too, too young, young to be MacArthur Wheeler. Oh, there's Ed Miliband. Where's Ed Miliband? Oh, this one here with his... Oh, yeah, yeah. he's got lovely teeth, hasn't he? Yeah. How's yeah. that come up as MacArthur They're kind of like projecting outwards, aren't they? And they spray out. Why has that come up as MacArthur Wheeler? Why has he come up? I don't know. Maybe uh, Ed Miliband's middle name is Wheeler. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, so MacArthur... Yeah, so if we go all the way down here, all the way down here, you will not find an accurate... And truthful photograph of, of Mac- this infamous person. Of this infamous person who's who was who rose to celebrity status by trying to rob a bank by covering two banks, two banks by covering him his face with lemon juice. You would, one uh, one would have thought that his face well, would be documented. It would have been documented. It would be everything. But one thing I did notice through my search on here. With MacArthur Wheeler. Didn't you see a, a newspaper? <clears throat> I did see a newspaper cutting. No. I saw a newspaper cutting, which was somewhere... Ooh, look at this, it's absolutely terrible. It's annoying when you can't find something that you... that you, uh, You've already seen before. You've already seen before, yeah. Especially when you type in the same uh, search thing. But there is, a, there is a newspaper article, a short clipping, a photograph of that. But it's no different to that article on that website. But it, yeah, it's it's no, it's different, no different to, to the, the article kind of on the absolutely yeah. So will the true MacArthur Wheeler? Yeah, so we we would like known. yeah we would like to we would like to make a challenge. 
for anyone who's who watches this or oh, who listens to this, MacArthur Halls. to um, um, to send us a link to a real lifelike, well, a real true depiction or a true photograph of MacArthur, MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. Yeah, because I firmly think that the whole lot has just been made up. And well, it would seem that way. It's, it's basically just... what I think has what I think happened is that MacArthur Wheeler. Oh look, there, there he is! Look, no, no, he's wearing yeah. a different tie. Yeah, I think MacArthur Wheeler. Um, the whole story surrounding Mac- MacArthur. This whole story was just made up by newspaper reporters. They did include some well, they real it, people. They, they do call it, although it is funny. The story, the story. Yeah, the sto- they even say it's. Um, they say here, um, Justin Cougar and David Dunning share an incredibly funny story of MacArthur Wheeler. It's a story. Now, we all know that stories um, can be anything, can't they? Well, they're like uh, fairy tales. They're like fairy tales, absolutely. It doesn't say it doesn't say the incident. It's Dunning Kruger uh, share an incredibly funny incident or uh, other word. They, they just use the word story. And if you do search through other websites, many of them quote use the word story. As if it's Special. just as if it's just been made up, just to make people believe. How stupid can people be? Yeah, yeah. you know it's absolutely yeah, stupid, the, the, isn't it? The irony Who'd is... want to put lemon juice all over their face? Yeah, but the irony is, you have Justin and David have used this story to base yeah a study upon. Absolutely, um, yeah, Dunning and Kruger. Um, as far as I'm concerned, what happened was you had boring, you had uh, people, newspaper reporters, nothing to do, nothing's happening in the town. So they come up with this fantastic story, which they published in the newspaper. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Dunning and Kruger later uh, read it or heard about it. Oh, mm. hey, Dunning, did you hear about that story of that bloke? Who covered his face with lemon juice, then robbed the yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, and they, they actually, it gave them justification to do something in their job because they're bored psychologists and they don't know what to do. And, you know, they, they're having trouble becoming famous and popular. So, so, so if we go so back that's, to So that's the, basically what I think back. happened. So they've just carried out studies based on a story. Just based on a story, because obviously which it gives them something to appears do to be untrue. The story appears to be untrue because that's why they do these studies in universities. In universities, because it a gives them something to do. They the students can participate in what they Absolutely. think is something useful and real, and real as yeah, well. Yeah. But when 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 you actually think about it, their studies only they only did their studies on undergraduates in psychology courses yeah um the you're absolutely right yeah the the as far as i'm concerned their 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 results are flawed in the sense that well they're biased they're they're biased yeah because they only used as they were very selective in just using undergraduates in in psychology courses at but cornell it's, but university it, but it's like a lot of these they didn't that's now that's not representative of the whole population well they should have older people they should have had older people younger people so essentially, the Dunning Kruger effect. If we look at this as it is for what it is, um, not only is it just based upon a story, it only applies to undergraduates at Cornell University, because and- undergraduates at other universities may be different than the yeah, undergraduates at Cornell University. Because they've only done university. that test on undergraduates at Cornell, Cornell University. university yeah. So it only applies to that. So it's absolute drivel, as far as I'm concerned. It's it's total tosh. Well, one thing I was going to say about it, and that is. If you if you go down to the supporting studies, yeah, because I was thinking that it can be interpreted, the results can be interpreted in different ways. Because what it says here, it says across four studies, yeah, the authors the authors found that a participant scoring in the bottom quartile, yeah, on tests of humor, grammar, and logic, grossly overestimated their test performance and ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've got half and a half competent students and yeah. half incompetent students, yeah, it's only the bottom quarter oh, that right, overestimated. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. And they could have overestimated for a number of reasons other than Absolutely, cognitive because, bias. Because if you're at university, some people would want to please their tutor. 
Absolutely. So they want to think, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give give myself a higher yeah, score absolutely. because I w- want to impress my yeah, tutor. Absolutely. And you mentioned something which was people. It does actually what this does do. This study, it supports the fact that people do lie. Absolutely. Um, all those people, all the, all the people who are in the bottom quartile, could have lied. Well, they did. They wanted to oh, lie no, about their own abilities. No, they wanted to. Look. They didn't want other people looking at them as being divvy and stupid and silly and yeah. They didn't. So they lied, basically. Mm. They lied. They just lied, and yet Dunning and Kruger never mentioned that that they actually lied, mm. because when you think about it, um, after being shown their test scores, subjects were asked to estimate their own rank. Blah blah blah. Yet uh, the competent group estimated their rank accurately, while the incompetent overestimated theirs, which obviously says. That they lied, yeah, because they overestimated. I mean, I can I can understand the. But Dunning and Kruger just don't don't actually go into the fact that they lied, no. and you know, they don't, I'm sure that I, they don't I, even. I can understand. I can understand. I can understand the study, in that, oh, if you're confident, it can lead to errors. If yeah, you, if you're if, if you're if overconfident, you feel, if you're overconfident, you you feel as if you you can not do you can do things. Yeah, that, or yeah, say yeah. things. So it's like if you if you play a game of chess with someone, and because you think, yeah, I'll, I can beat him, I can beat him, and then you just make the wrong move, and then you've yeah. lost the game. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I can, can understand that in in that respect, but when when it's quoting people, when when globetrotters quote this. To support their their superiority, their superiority and your inferiority, then it doesn't hold up at it all. It doesn't hold up at all. Yeah, so it's it's absolute nonsense. Because this study is only basing it on Cornell undergraduates. Absolutely, and there may be no such thing as MacArthur Wheeler. And a lot of students lied, clearly lied, to to boost up their ranking. Absolutely, and also it was it was contained within the university. They wanted. To, they knew what the outcome was because they read the story, story this fictional story of MacArthur Wheeler. Wheeler. Yeah. So they designed this these studies to get the results they, they wanted. They, they wanted, yeah, and then they can have their name in written down in scientific journals because all that story, journals, all the Dunning Kruger effect, fame, his, yeah. historic. They're in. They're, their their names, names are in history. history yeah. They'll always be cited in classrooms around the around the world. Because all this story does, all this yeah. the Dunning Kruger effect does, is that. All it's promoting is that if you're knowledgeable, you are superior. Absolutely, yeah. Even though it's the knowledge is bullshit. Absolutely. Or whatever knowledge you whatever knowledge you're spewing you, out. Yeah, you're spewing whether it's out. right or wrong. Yeah. So yeah, that's one thing that annoys me about people who are so called experts and come across as being knowledgeable. And that is a lot of the time that the information they're giving out is just Nonsense. One thing I've noticed with it's, uh, uh, it's just tosh. Yeah, one thing I've noticed with with a lot of people who give out tosh information, even these people high up, these scientists, whatever. If you were to talk with them, yeah, they wouldn't give you eye contact. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They wouldn't look at you in the yeah, face. They're not real people. They they live in this bubble, the bubble of man's world, man's deceptive. Well, they hide world. away. They hide away. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're scared to face reality. They hide behind the the Dunning Kruger effect. Their spectacles. That see now the Dunning Kruger effect protects them. That's their protection, isn't it? They have someone justifies who justifies their existence. Someone who so they're talking to someone who's going to burst their bubble with information and just common sense, and they're thinking, no, you're you're silly. You're 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 being um, el- elus. What was the word? You're you're being illusory. You've got you've got a cognitive bias. An, an illusion. Of I'm right. You're wrong. Yeah, you've got delusions of grandeur. So you're just being stupid. Go away. Go away. It's, but re- essentially, they just don't want to face uh, common sense. Reality. reality. Yeah, yeah, reality. They just yeah. don't want to face it. Yeah. I mean, it's so, so easy to understand people um, in life. You know, um, as soon as you start talking truth to people, people, uh, a lot of people, they they tighten up. They get very defensive 
Fight or flight. Just carry away, though, mate. Uh, Sorry, I haven't got time. Fight or flight. Yeah, I haven't absolutely. got time today. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you want to go. Chat. Go. Yeah, it must go. Yeah, I know you told me last week that the Earth's flat, but you know, I'll oh, hi there. But oh no, I've got no time now. Sorry. You know, or I'd, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it, yeah so it's anyway, absolute tosh. So we do you think we've Dunning covered Kruger. everything on the Dunning Kruger effect? Uh, yeah, I think, and uh, I'll I'll just would like to say again, yeah, if anybody can uh, send me a, a real life flight, a, a true image of. Oh, here we go. Here's that newspaper article. There we go. Look, lemon. No it, picture of him. No picture of him. Yes. Oh, that was great. That was good. Uh, yeah, Pittsburgh middle-aged bank robber who robbed lemon juice, who rubbed lemon juice on his face because he thought it would prevent surveillance cameras from taking a clear picture of him, was sentenced to 24 and a half years in prison. Now, with a story like that, I would have thought lots of people would read the article, ha, 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 That's find it there. really, really funny. There's a picture of someone there. Man, man, eats, man eats underwear to beat breathalyzer. Hmm, interesting. It's amazing what people do, isn't it? Hope the wire didn't stick. Well, perhaps he was... Do it was knickers or bra? I don't know. It must have been... Uh, must have been must have been knickers. I don't know. That's I reckon the story is knickers, don't you? Could well oh, be. They weren't yeah. smelly knickers or Could wet well ones. Be. Yeah, but the, you'll find that a lot of lot of the, the, one thing that media probably does is that it prints stories to make people look as though they are stupid. But people are stupid. No, no, not no. all of them. No. Not all of them. Yeah, no. What I'm saying is, it makes it. They print articles to make other the readers think that people are stupid. When in fact they're that not. The readers are. Oh, it could be. Yeah, the yeah. readers. Yeah, the readers are stupids, but they print all these specific. They make up these specific stories to make people, to make readers think that there are certain individuals within society who are duh, but the readers themselves are are stupid because they're reading crap. Well, some people, but I'm sure some people would have read that article and thought that's just a load of BS. But it is, yeah. That's just, it just fills just, up newspaper. Yes, it just fills up loose, absolutely yeah, newspaper. It just fills up a newspaper. Most newspapers are crap. Yeah, all of them are really. But uh, yeah, so um, there you go. There, there you go. You've got blah, blah blah. I mean, there's U.S. District Judge Gary Lancaster, sentenced Wheeler, forty six. You know, maybe there's um, some some court um, bit of official paper that's on the internet. But or how something. do you know it's real though? If it is real, you know how there should be know? a link to it. There should you know, be a photo of him. There should be a photograph of him, MacArthur Wheeler, because to me that that a story like that would go would be viral. If it mm. happened now, YouTube be viral. Yeah, that would. Whereas you know, um, so there should be a picture of him. Yeah, anyway, so, so that's that's the. Uh, so if I think it's, if I think it's all nonsense. Yeah, so there, if you're anyway. a globe trotter, <clears throat> no, if you're a flat earther and you get challenged by a globe trotter, that. Um, you're suffering from the Dunning Kruger effect. Yes. And all you need to do is just ask them ask for them to a photo yes. of MacArthur Wheeler. Play the game. Play the game. Play the game. Spot yeah. MacArthur Wheeler. Spot MacArthur Wheeler. Yep. That's all you have to do. And they'll run away. The Dunning Kruger effect was only based on a story. Absolutely. On a story. And it wasn't representative of the whole entire population. Well, the, the people who took part in the studies. Yeah, that's all it. Um, that's all it can. So the studies only apply to undergraduates in, in, in psychology, psychology courses course at Cornell um, University. Absolutely, can't apply it to can anyone else. No, sorry, it can only apply to the psychology students who undertook the experiment. Absolutely, yeah. or the study. Absolutely, you can't. You can't, can't generalize. You can't generalize. It's wrong to do that. Absolutely. Anyway, there we go. I think we've done a good, great job. Yeah, another bit of nonsense. In another the world. bit of nonsense. Yeah, there's just so much of it. I and I, I got to admit, I'm getting to a good point. Where in in my life, where I think that uh, there's there's just it's lovely uncovering all the nonsense and making people aware just how much nonsense there is in the world, yeah. in man's world anyway. I mean, if I was a polar bear, I mean, I probably wouldn't think there's not a lot of nonsense about, yeah. would I? Or if I was a bodgerigar or a canary, yeah. I wouldn't think that there's any nonsense. But in man's world, there's loads of it. Yep. Yeah. And next time, and if you do have a Polaroid camera. If any viewers are listening, you oh. do have a Polaroid camera. Cover your face with lemon juice and get someone to take a photo of you. And I bet you'll see your face in the picture. Absolutely, yes. So there you go. Well, there you go. Uh, well, thanks ever so much. That, yeah, was, that, that was really good. good. Yeah, well, and then end it on your famous... End it on me note, yeah. And uh, so... Uh, if... Uh, so... Uh, Something. Um, 
So, yeah, always remember, if something doesn't make sense, it's nonsense. Well, thanks very much, Pete. Yeah, thank you. Ta-da. Ta-da.